Hey everybody, I'm Richard Krause and welcome to Booze and Reviews. Today, I'm going to have a drink and a think about the protege. To go along with this action thriller about an assassin who seeks revenge on the people who killed her father figure and mentor, I chose a very appropriate drink. It's called The Assassin. And all you need is a shaker, some rum, and a few other ingredients that you likely have kicking around the kitchen. Here's how you make it. In a shaker, add half an ounce of lime juice, two ounces of dark rum, a dash of simple syrup, that's half sugar, half water, boiled down to a syrup, three quarters of an ounce of mango nectar, a tablespoon of coconut cream, and then you give it a shake. And while you're shaking that up with one hand, in the other hand, take a tablespoon of Angostura bitters and dump it into your glass with ice. Then pour the blended ingredients on top and then garnish it with some nutmeg. Mmm, that's good. The richness of the rum contrasts with the tartness of the lime and the sweetness of the coconut. But now that I have my drink, what did I think about the protege? Have a look at this clip while I have a sip and a drink and a think. Most people are good. Some people are bad. But you, you're the rare gift. So get in and get out. The Protégé is a glossy revenge flick that covers well-traveled ground. There are exotic locations, elaborate action sequences, complicated alliances, and a dark backstory. And while each of the main cast, that's Maggie Q, Samuel L. Jackson, and Michael Keaton, bring something special to each of their roles, the movie itself feels like less than the sum of its parts. It is at its best when it puts aside its notions of gravitas and concentrates on the primal aspect of the story, the quest for revenge. And that's why I gave the protege, now in theaters, three out of five cocktails. Cheers, everybody. We'll talk again soon.